All right, good morning, everybody. Uh, this is Corey, your first time marathoner. Uh, we are officially 18 weeks out from the Rocket City Marathon, um, which is when my rain, running plan officially starts. Um, up until this point, I've been doing a lot of strength training, um, base building, getting myself back into shape uh, to prepare for um, this phase of my training. So starting this week and going forward for the next 18 weeks, I've got a pretty strict uh, running plan. Um, kind of based on what I used when I trained for my half marathon. Um, it's uh, four days of running a week, three regular, I guess you'd call them runs, of like starting out at three to four miles, and then one long run um, at the end of the week. Uh, it kind of steadily increases, six, seven, eight, um, so on. So this week, um, my marathon plan calls for three three-mile runs with a long run of six miles which uh, my goal when I got to this point was to try and be um, at that point or ahead of it if possible um, because 18 weeks is a long time um, and because life happens I just kind of anticipate having a sick week or a week where work is uh, busier than normal or life is busier than normal and not being able to get out and uh, run as much as I'd like so um, thankfully um, I was able to do that so right now I'm already at a pace of uh, being able to run three four mile runs a week with a long run of six miles so uh, this week I'm actually shooting for three four mile runs and a seven mile long run at the end of the week um, and then going from there um, one thing that uh, was interesting about this training plan compared to my half marathon one um, in my half marathon it was steadily increasing so you went from like four miles to five miles to six miles to seven miles um, and kept going up but with the marathon one it's like you go six, seven, eight, and then on the fourth week you jump back down your long run to like five miles and then nine, 10, 11, and then down to seven, that sort of thing. Um, I don't really know why it's that way. I guess it's to, you know, pace your body's muscles and uh, give yourself some rest, but uh, that's what we're going with. I'm sticking to this because it's, it's all I know. I don't really have any other uh, thing to jump off of. But anyway, so that's where I'm at. That's what we're working on. Um, I've been trying to figure out, you know, what to eat and what to um, fuel my body with when I'm going out on my six mile runs. Um, and as of right now, um, I don't really have like a solid answer, but I do most of my running in the morning, so it's it's really a carb heavy breakfast, um, maybe even like a carb heavy dinner the night before, um, with plenty of water to hydrate. Obviously, um, I, I tend to focus on having uh, some waffles in the morning. That's been what's really helped me. Um, with, and instead of like syrup on it, I do peanut butter and jelly because um, I like that better and it's a good mix of protein and fiber and the sugar in your jelly to help kind of give you some fuel as well. So I've been having that a lot for breakfast, um, getting kind of burned out on it so I'm having to <laughs> do some uh, searching for what's next, what I can throw in to mix in with it. Um, and then for my long run days, I don't really have any fuel that I take with me necessarily. Um, in the past I've used things like goo or those uh, Cliff Energy Gels, um, which is what I'll probably continue to use. Um, but once I get into the really long runs of like you know, 10 miles plus, I'll have to figure out uh, some additional stuff to take with me. So still doing some research on that. If you have any uh, feedback or opinions on what you do, please let me know. I'm always open to suggestions. Um, Otherwise, that's where I'm at, and uh, I'll check in with you guys in a, another week or so to let you know how these first couple weeks are going. Have a nice day.